Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. And we are back with Ruddy, who is in the middle of comforting Amarillo. She had a nightmare. She came and woke him up. Um, he caught her before he could, she could come in and wake up Rusty. Um, so he is just giving his daughter some love here. Let's see, does she need anything? Um, I think he's just going to spend his morning. He's going to be a little bit tired, but he's going to spend his morning just kind of taking care of his kid a little bit. Um, why'd they lose? Why are they having an argument right now? Discipline strictly yell at for being defiant. Well, he's going to, I mean, their, their relationship's not going to be the... It's not supposed to be the greatest, so I guess we have that. Gabrielle, what's wrong? Oh, I gave her a makeover, and this is kind of what she's dressed at or dressed as right now. Um, let's have her repair this, but please don't electrocute yourself, though. <laughs> that would be awful. Ruddy, what are you doing? What are you doing in here? Okay, good job, kid. What's she doing? She, we've almost got her skills. Potty's going to be the one that's going to be the hardest, I think. She's got imagination up. Let's get her communication. Where's her little... Where's she put her little... Uh, it's right here. Let's do this. This one. Um, Rusty, how are you? You need some breakfast. So let's have you have breakfast. Eggs and toast. Ruddy, um, you can back, go back and nap. Do you have to go to work today? No, today's your day off. So I think he and Gabrielle might go out on the town a little bit once everyone gets um, cleaned up and everything. So it's too many chores. Oh, okay, because she's lazy. I did not know that about her. Did we know that about her? I knew the genius and the bro, but I did not did not know about the lazy part. Um, so it's talk. Okay, kiddo wants to talk. She's going to the bathroom talk. Gabrielle, what is wrong? She's like <laughs> losing her mind. Okay. All right, go ahead. Um, the other thing I noticed about Gabrielle, and I don't, this is a game glitch, I think. Look how young she is. She, she did not just turn into a teenager because, or turn into a young adult because her and Ruddy had been like schmoozing a while ago. And she wasn't a teen at the time, so I, I don't I don't know what's what's up with that. Why that bugged out the way it did? Why so mad? You're tired. Go sleep. <laughs> All right, kiddo's going to sleep. I think Ruddy and Gabrielle are going to go out on the town. So stop this. Stop this. Stop this. Let's have Ruddy and Gabrielle go out for a little bit. Where is she? Boop, boop, boop. Here. Oh, Charlie. <laughs> I feel... I miss her, like, on a daily basis whenever I come here. Okay, Ruddy, Gabrielle. Um, they're gonna get out of the city, actually. And they are gonna go to... Windenburg. To where? Mm. Park? Yeah. They're going to go to the park in Windenburg. Uh, they're just going to kind of hang out, spend the day together. Um, again, Ruddy, I think he's he's keeping her at arm's length a little bit, but she can't tell because he's he's good at faking, right? He's good at acting. He's, he's good at making her feel like she's special and everything. But for Ruddy... He's like, she is special. She's going to be the mom to my kid. <laughs> like, but it, it has no, she doesn't have that same meaning that other, that a relationship should have, right? He's not going into a relationship looking for the right thing, basically. So, so he is keeping his own emotions kind of checked off. And he thinks he's doing the right thing by making these decisions about, um, why is everyone on the ground over here? Okay, my sheets. Kali Bauman. All right, let's have him come and kiss her here. Um, deep conversation. R romance. Oh, he did it on his own. <laughs> he did, they didn't even need me 
to go do that. So what else is around here? It's kind of a small park, but it's the Windenburg Park. So maybe they can come over here and... Hmm, do they want to play chess together or... Maybe we'll see what they do. They're talking with these other people too. Kylie. And this gardener guy. Esteban. <laughs> So I think Ruddy is really just, he's sharing his secret. Um, he's, he's just really, really wants her to be happy and excited and into him. Um, because he wants her to stick around. So he's, he's doing all this stuff because he knows Amarillo needs a mom. I heard you became friends with Amarillo Nothberry. <laughs> Would hope they were friends. Uh, brighten her day. Spino? Yeah, fruits. See what? Um, let's hug lovingly. What the heck? Why is why do people always come here and accost Rot Ruddy whenever he's trying to? Atticus gear. I love the name Atticus, by the way. Um, all right. So we did have something special. I had something special planned for today, and let's see if it's here. Yep, he is brought Gabrielle out here for a reason. Hello, can you not be doing all this stuff? He brought her out here for a reason because he wants to, and it may be rushing, but they've been dating for a little while now. Um, and he, he's he's talking about, hey, you know, I, I really care for you. I really want you to be around. And I think you're great with Amarillo. Do you want to be my wife? And so she said yes, obviously. <laughs> And again, she is 100% completely into Ruddy. She thinks he is the greatest. She really loves him. Um, she doesn't see that he's sort of holding back, right? So now they're engaged. Um, let's have them... Can they go over here? <laughs> let's have him go here. And I wonder if she could maybe come here. She can't paint from reference yet. I was going to have her paint him. <laughs> so she's gonna get into painting. Ruddy, what are you off to? He's gonna play chess. Or he was. Um, let's have him join this game. Yeah, he's gonna join with My Myra? Mayra. Um, this is our male lady, by the way. Let's brighten her day. He's like, I just got engaged. Let's go about the career. She should be a postal woman. Uh, talk about handiness. Yep, mail carrier. That's our that's our mail lady. We've seen her every day for a very long time. Um, she's outside of our house and our apartment. We pass her by and say hi to her pretty much every day. So he's just like, hey, I didn't know you hung out at the park or everything. Let's gush about his partner a little bit. He's really excited that he he got engaged. So Ruddy's just kind of getting to know the mail lady a little bit. Um, let's have her... I was hoping that she could paint him a little bit. And she's kind of excited, and she knows that she's rushing into it, but she believes, Gabrielle believes, that she has, um, met her soulmate with Ruddy, right? They flirted for a very long time, uh, when she first met him. Um, ask to play chess. Mayra, come on, play chess with Ruddy. Has to play chess. There we go. And then we can discuss interests. How do you get a promotion? Not right now. Let's give her a joke about politicians. Heartfelt compliment. We found out that she's evil and romantic. <laughs> of course. Of course she's evil. <laughs> um, let's do compliment art. Okay. So he's just getting to know the melee. How's her? I mean, for first painting, my God, <laughs> Gabrielle. What in the world? So they they spent the day at the park. Ruddy popped the question. It's very quick, very soon. Um, but I think Ruddy's also feeling like I'm getting old, and my daughter's growing up, and she needs someone around. So let's sell this to the collector. Did she paint from reference yet? 
Not yet. Who's calling now? I want to go over to her house and hang out. Uh, to Hajar's house? Yes. <laughs> and let's bring... I forgot that he was flirting with Josephine a little bit. Let's bring, um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gabrielle. All right, we're going to Hajar's house. So this is his personal trainer. This is his trainer whenever he goes to the gym. So they're going to go to her house and see... It's about he's going to tell her, hey, I'm, I got engaged. And Hajar, remember what? Remember she was giving him some life advice a while ago? So I'm not sure how she's going to take it. She's like, you just got out of a bad relationship. Or you got out of a bad relationship. You've suffered some loss le recently. I'm not sure if, like, you really know what you're doing. So um, she might try to talk some sense into him a little bit. She just might try to talk some sense into him. Um, is, does she live right next to Minty? Oh, I didn't, uh oh, Hajar, are you having your baby? Are you married even? Like who is the dad? And do you need help raising that baby? Cause Ruddy would help. Oh, do you already have a baby? Oh, and look how cute he is. Oh my god, he's adorable. <laughs> Look at him. Okay, hey, um, did she just have it? Is she having it right now? <laughs> oh my god. Compliment Alpha, how are you? Um, friendly introduction. So she's gonna talk to Hajar. <laughs> Hello. Um, there's a wild bluebell. Ruddy, let's have you introduce yourself to Hajar's kid. Hello, kid. <laughs> um, and you do need to use the bathroom, so why don't you go ahead and use that. Well, Gabrielle is out here getting to know the personal trainer. So, and she's... She is all about, uh, or Hajar is kind of like looking out for Ruddy a little bit. Like, oh, so you're, you're his new girlfriend. How'd you meet him? How long ago? And then she's like, here, look at this rock on my finger. Oh, Hajar must be going to have her baby. <laughs> all right, well, since she left, let's go over here. No one is home. Where is everyone? We're going over there anyway. That's our... That's our childhood home. Where did every where is everyone? Carmine and Tasha and Minty? The kids should at least be home. <laughs> no one is home. Are you serious? Maybe they'll come home. <laughs> Ruddy's gonna be like, hey, can I come inside? <laughs> Poor guy. He's trying to announce that he got engaged and no one's there to uh No one's there to congratulate him. He's gonna go home to Rusty and Rusty's gonna be like, what? The hell are you thinking? Because Ruddy's never been married. He's had girlfriends. He's never been married. Um, I think he... And he's thinking, like, I'm getting on in age. Like, time is moving by pretty quickly. I knew someone was home. Alright. Let's have you talk to the kids. Brighten her day. Piper. And <laughs> Whitney. Oh, what's the matter, Whitney? Praise her. Oh, hey, Carmine. Uh, share secret. And Gabrielle, why don't you use and get to know Minty. I don't think you know her. Friendly introduction to Minty. So he's introducing Gabrielle to his, <laughs> his mom and his, his older brother. Introducing her to the family. Um, Chuck Toddler. Alright, Gabrielle's getting to know her, and I think Minty's just like, what? <laughs> like, she, she's just kind of, um, she doesn't quite know what to think of it, because last she knew, Ruddy was single, right? It, it, she didn't even know that he was dating. Talk about day. Can, can you include the toddler? Thank you. Hello, kids. 
<laughs> but you too. Talk about day. Play with her. So he's just kind of hanging out, playing with his nieces too, talking to Carmine. I can't believe Carmine is an old man. When does Natasha age up? All right, are they gonna play? Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Fun Uncle Ruddy. <laughs> Because he really does love his family. Like, it, as, as hard of a time as he's going through right now, and as bad of decisions as he's making, he loves his family. And he'll do anything for them. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh. Cute. Oh, rough play. He got a... <laughs> he got a black eye. Alright, let's send him home because Ruddy's gonna have to eat and go to bed soon, I think. So, they're gonna go home and tell, um... Tell Rusty what happened. I popped a question today, brother. Yeah, I heard what you were saying. And Rusty's gonna be like, I, I did not say that. <laughs> that is not at all what I was saying. <laughs> so, Rusty's kinda just... He's at a loss. He's just like, Ruddy, I don't... You know I got your back, but I don't- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. So we'll see. We'll see how Rusty takes it. <laughs> He's gotta get used to it. I think he- like, Ruddy might be getting... Like, caught up in city life, too. City life and polit politicking a little bit. Is she asleep? Why is she asleep on that bench? Go sleep here. Claim this. You already have. Um, so he's going to... Come here. Why don't you eat the rest of this? And talk to your brother. So, you are. Flatter. He's gonna talk to Rusty a little bit. Minty. <laughs> we were just at your house. Oh, Minty and Carmine. Hi. We'll greet him. Hello. Heartfelt compliment. Hug lovingly. Seeing the family. The family came over. Is, it, are, is this an intervention? Are they staging an intervention for Ruddy? Ruddy's like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I adore this girl. She's in the other room sleeping. I don't know what more you want from me. She's like, Ruddy, we're worried about you. And we care for you. And we want the best for you. Um, let's try to get her communication. Actually, let's work on thinking. Let's do some shapes. Go play some some shapes. Yeah, they're all kind of just talking about Ruddy and making sure, you know, I do really love this girl. You need to think about it. You need to plan this out. And um, I think Ruddy is... Why is it lagging so much? And like Ruddy's just saying over and over again, you guys, it's fine. I know what I'm doing. I'm making this decision out of the best, you know, best possible place I can make it. And so he, I think they're going to drop it after this. After, after tonight, they'll drop it. And he passes up because he's so tired. He's like, go ahead. Go ahead and go to bed, Ruddy. All right, how's the kid doing? She's getting that... Getting that skill up. I'm, I'm trying to get her skills. She's got a couple of days. Two only. Um, we might not get all of her skills up to level three, which would be unfortunate. I really wanted to do that, but we were focusing on Ruddy, which makes sense. <laughs> it does make sense. So he's going to go ahead and... Actually, can we have him potty train her? Because I think she might gain it a little bit quicker if she does it with him. So let's try that. And she might get, that thinking might get, it's very close to being leveled up. Hi, can you potty train her? Okay, cool. So hopefully if that gets to level three, then we only have, I mean, it's not going to get there now, but we have a couple days left. So, the lowest one right now is movement, which she can do on the tablet as well. 
Um, let's have her go back here and do some more shapes. Oh, she can also do it on those blocks, too. Okay, good to know. Um, you are tired, so why don't you go to bed? I got cooking level 8. Um, why did you wake up to do that? Like, were you that hungry that you needed to cook? Or is it... No. There we go. Thinking level 3. Alright, let's have her stack and try to get the movement. Ruddy, I know, but you you woke up and did that. Why? I don't know why you didn't just stay asleep. Who messed this up? We have... Rescue who turned off, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> we bet we had better have it turned off. We can only have one kid. Um Okay. We'll turn it back on after we're done with Ruddy's like escapades in the love life, I think. Um, but for right now, since you can only have one kid, we have it off. Alright, let's have her use Take a shower and sleep as well. I don't know why they both woke up. Probably the neighbors. Something to do with the neighbors. And then maybe we can make sure that she gets to... Did something break? I, f I feel like something... Yeah, the toilet did. Um, let's try to get her to level 3 movement. Then we'll only have communication and potty to get up there. Nope, she's too too tired, too hungry. Okay, why don't you wake up? Um, have a quick meal, cereal, and then we'll stop it. Stop her from eating it. It's almost Rusty's birthday. Really, Gabrielle, I told you to stop eating that, please, and go to bed. So Amarillo can go get it. How long until Rusty's birthday? Amarillo? Go eat the cereal. Gabriel or er, Rusty? Oh, two days. One day. All right, so we've got some birthdays uh, to celebrate coming up here. So guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end there. Uh, I do want to, again, thank you so much for all your support on this series. <laughs> what, a, what a snotty face that is. Um... Thank you so much for all the support on the series. If you do want to see more of the Not So Berry Legacy, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye everyone.